What happened? Uh, there are some folks who just weren't sure whether I was born in the United States, whether I was a socialist, right? So, so there, there's that segment of it, which I think is just... You know, I don't get that. It's very strange. The whole thing is very strange. The fundamental truth is that Obama was not born in Hawaii. And that's what's been covered up the entire time. Hawaii knows it. Uh, Barack Obama knows it. If they, it would have been so easy to produce the birth document. Is that your fault? I would say that uh, I can't spend all my time uh, with uh, my birth certificate plastered on my forehead. <laughs> Why do you keep talking and then you blurt out Whatever the hell you blurt, that nobody knows what it means anyway. Why do you keep doing it? It, it is what the facts are the facts. And so it's not something that I can, uh, I think, uh, spend all my time worrying about. I don't think the American people want. I'm just saying, you know, Ronald Reagan was right. You trust and you verify. There are a few th things in life that are harder to find than love. Well, love and a birth certificate. You think you were a good leader? My approval ratings are still very high in the country of my birth. Well, this guy either has a birth certificate or he doesn't. And I didn't think this was such a big deal, but I will tell you, it's turning out to be a very right. big deal. I'm trying to find out, you know, where is the birth certificate? Uh, answering that question with specificity, uh, you know, is, is uh, above my pay grade. If you're not born in the United States, you cannot be president. The problem is that the president made a stupid, life-threatening decision that, frankly, if you were running a company and made that kind of a decision, you destroy that company instantaneously. You're fired. I had no choice but to do that. Go ahead. Sorry. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.